if there's one thing that we really enjoy here on Midday Maryland, that is sharing positive news in our community. And we've got Craig Creamer. He is a board member for the Building for God Community Foundation and also the owner of ABC Rental of Rosedale. And we also have Alfonso Mayo. He is the founder and executive director of Mentoring Mentors. Welcome, you two. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you both. Absolutely. Craig, I actually want to start with you. Can you just tell us a little bit more about the foundation for people who might not know about it? Sure. A Building for God a Community Foundation is a, a nonprofit organization that partners with local, uh, private, growth-oriented nonprofits in the Baltimore area, and they align with our mission. And that mission is to shelter the homeless, you know, feed and support families, uh, foster the educational needs of our youth, and uh, support the uh, the those who protect us in the community. So these nonprofits, uh, they're considered our champions in life. We recognize them as champions in life, and these champions in life not only receive financial grants from us, but they also receive professional and personal support of our volunteer board members. And usually that support will be expertise in areas that the, the board members um, are experts in. <laughs> so, yeah, right. so it's like strategic planning, um, budgeting, finance, accounting. You come in, you don't take over, you just sort of bolster the work right. that you're doing already to make sure that it has a, the foundation to keep growing and to keep doing all the wonderful work they're already doing in the community. And I know exactly. as a member that you've worked closely with Alfonso's group, the Mentoring Mentors. Tell us about the internship program that you and Alfonso um, got started. I had three students come early this summer, uh, start working for us. You know, we, we went through the process, you know, teach them how to do an application just to apply, teach them how to, to um, fill out their paperwork to, to get paid. Um, and then in the summer, we're really busy with party stuff. So they, you know, they, they helped us on Fridays and Saturdays, yeah. sending out tables and chairs and parties equipment. Mondays, it all comes back, you know, thousands of chairs, hundreds of tables. And, yeah, you know, and, and, yeah. and they helped they helped us do that. So throughout the week, you know, they worked really hard. But I think more importantly than, you know, the actual work, you know, they learned how to, um, you know, get to work on time, you know, how important that is. And also to, uh, you know, stay off their phones and yes. uh, work with others and follow procedures. And they learned all these great yes. things. Yes. Al Alfonso, I have to have you jump in here, too, because obviously you're doing something right. You have won this <laughs> twice over now, a Champion in Life Award recipient. Um, just talk about how you have been able to further the efforts you are already doing. I think one of the things that we've identified in this partnership is that our missions align, um, and that's clear. Uh, our mission is simply to serve youth. We want to teach them how to build positive relationships in the community, uh, how to build a, a community interdependency, right? We know that this work is important, but we can't do it alone. Uh, and so, you know, this summer we launched our first ever Leaders Summer Program where we incorporated information technology, education, nature, physical fitness, and then we decided to add an uh, internship component. And that's where Mr. Craig came in and stepped in and really helped us out. Uh, because we know that we want our summers, especially for youth here in Baltimore, to be filled with joy, uh, but even more so filled with learning, right? What are our next steps? Uh, and Mr. Craig, uh, ABC Rentals, they gave us our next steps because we didn't operate five days a week. Uh, but we wanted to give our students something at least six days a week. And um, the kids was able to learn. And so our mission is going to always be able to continuously serve as we make a greater impact. And one of the things that we decided to do was we selected kids who we knew would be a great fit uh, for this journey. Right. Kids who have shown us throughout the years that they they're committed, they're consistent and they're willing to learn. Uh, and so it's just been a blessing to be a part of the foundation, to be able to receive the services, uh, not just the financial contribution. While that's important, I think even more importantly is the relationships that we have with the board members, the founders uh, and community partners like Mr. Craig. Well, this is wonderful. Of course, it's a blessing for us to be able to highlight all that you both are doing. If people want to support um, or learn more about the Building for God Community Foundation, how should they do that, Craig? 
Uh, they can go online, buildingforgod.org, and everything, uh, our missions up there, our events, tells you all about our Champion of Life celebration, our Community Cup golf tournament, and get a, a lot of information. All right. Or, and uh, they can also support us with a donation. Yes, they can do that too, right on the website, right? It's made really right, exactly, right on the website. Yeah, don't forget that. You're absolutely right. That's what we want people to do. All right, Craig and Alfonso, thank you so much for being on today. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right up. 